So the next slide is the book of the month is Ernest Holmes in the 21st Century, Daily Guides by Dr. Margaret Stortz. The Science of Mag magazines are in, the new ones for the next month. Both of these are available at the kiosk at the back. Reading the articles and the daily guides in the Science of Mind magazine will increase your knowledge of the Science of Mind reading. Now it is my pleasure to introduce today's speaker, Elizabeth Chomek. Elizabeth is a member of the spiritual team here at the Centre. She has dedicated her time and energy to this Centre for many years. I am honored to call her my friend. Good morning, everyone. Um, so Robin came up here and did the talk already. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad that you came up and did that. So I could just go home now. <laughs> So I came across some Ernest Holmes talks on, on, online, and I really, really love him. He, I've never heard him talk before, but when I heard him talk, it was just really, really, he, he was such an enlightened soul that it just touched me deeper down inside, and I was just, I was just kind of bawling too. Um, so he always led his talks by, there is a power for good in the universe, greater than you are, and you can use it. He always let us talk that way. So I will attempt to show you how to use this and let's, like, let spirit come within you and let spirit lead the way. Have you ever gotten into trouble, felt fear, anxious, felt alone, thought there was no way I can do this on my own? Has anybody felt like, like yes. this? Yeah. Well, you're in luck because I am going to share with you how to let spirit lead the way. It is e as easy as letting go, surrendering to a higher power, stepping out of the way and letting spirit do the work. <sighs> what do I mean about stepping out of the way? Let go, let go of your ego. <sighs> let go of the need to do everything on your own, etc. Example, this is for me though. Um, I thought of passing my nursing course, like it was very, very hard. I felt I couldn't do it. And I had been coming to the center for about two years then because I started coming in 2003 and I graduated my nursing course in 2005. So I already had, you know, spiritual partners. I already had taken some classes and I was actually taking classes and doing my nursing course at the same time. And uh, yeah, I just, I remember Reverend Randy saying, well, what do you do to yourself? <laughs> And uh, so I did treatment in form of our form of a former prayer, like Joanne was saying. And uh, I asked for help. And after I asked for help, and I just knew that spirit was going to do it, I just relaxed into it, and um, and it just seemed effortless after that. Like it just happened, and then I. I got my exam results and I did a happy dance and I was so excited and my job came and so everything just lined up serendipi serendipitously, serendipi I can't say that word, sorry, <laughs> serendipitously until I graduated my nursing course. So everything that I needed to get through, I, it came because there is nothing spirit that can't do. It is unlimited, it's unending. Um, it is unlimited, so God knew I could do it. God knew I could do it. <laughs> that was my, um, you know, my grounding source. We didn't need it anymore. <laughs> you are never alone as spirit, God, source, higher power, whatever it is that you want to say. It's always with you. It's inside of you, guiding you on your right and perfect path, leading you to the right places, the right people, the right things to say. This is why in our form of a firm prayer, this, the first step is, what is the first step? Recognition. Recognition. I speak in the first person. 
I acknowledge the oneness, the wholeness of God. God is all there is, omnipresent, omniscient, all-knowing, all-seeing. So you just say that there is one God. The second step is unification. I align myself with the one source. I declare there is only one mind. That mind is my mind now. I am one with God. God is in me, working through me now. God is, I am, use me, Lord, if you can. That was a song. The next step is realization. This step is whatever it is that you desire to have in your life. It could be perfect health, it could be abundance, it could be love, it could be that new job, that new house, peace of mind, whatever it is that you want. Now, I speak my word to myself in my own language. I express my deep realization that I have perfect health. That's the, that's the example. That all my needs are taken care of. In the, in, the, in the right and perfect time, the right and perfect moment, all my needs are taken care of. Then, the next step is, what's the next step? Gratitude. Gratitude, thanksgiving. In my own words, I express my overwhelming thankfulness for the truth of my perfect health, for the feeling of love and joy and peace I feel because of my perfect health. The love and joy and peace that I feel for my perfect health. And I always like to say, God is within every cell of my body and it works. Everything works with ease and grace in that one. And the next step is the most important step because it's the step of release. It's the step of letting go and letting God. This, it leaves room for God to do the work. In my own language, I now release this prayer into the action of law, cause, and effect. And knowing it is done in the mind of God, in this step it is important to let the release be total. Released into the action of law, I let go and I let God. And so it is. To me, this is freedom. I do not do anything. God's spirit does the work. I am merely a channel for the work to be done through. Let spirit lead the way. Believe that it is done, and it is done. Can we do that? <laughs> I know that there may be challenges on the road. You may not see yourself as worthy to be loved. Just know that you are loved. You are loved. <coughs> Move out of the way and let God see you as perfect. I know that Randy came to me this morning and said, you did a lot of letting, letting go and letting God this morning. <laughs> so can you repeat after me? I am perfect, whole, and complete. I am perfect, whole, and complete. And it is done unto you as you believe. I am. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> and it is done unto you as you believe, but that's, that's what it is, yeah? I know there may be challenges on the road. You may not see yourself. Oh, I already said that. Sorry. <laughs> no. So, we are co-creating our lives every day, consciously or unconsciously. It's always moving through us. Each human being is endowed with free will and can thus choose to experience either freedom or bondage either abundance or lack, either joy or misery. So do you want to choose freedom, abundance, and joy? Yes. Or do you want to choose bondage, lack, or misery? Which one you choose? It's up to you. So it is time to return to the truth of who you are. We have forgotten our freedom, our use of the law, the law of cause and effect. We cannot step out of the law of cause and effect because we are created in the image and likeness of God. We are the macrocosm, macrocosm into, within a macrocosm, a little circle within the bigger circle. We are, we have a body within the spirit. So we are the spirit and we have a body within it. We are all connected that way. As long as we allow love to point the direction, law makes the way possible. The law of cause and effect. Do you believe in God? It's one question. Yes. yes. There's only a few yeses, not very many yeses. You, can, you cannot live your life without God. God is within you as well as outside of you. It's in everything. You're never alone, 
the Spirit. You are never alone. As you... Sorry, I lost my kind of thought. It is all one, the universal power. The law of cause and effect is always working through you as you. Believe God is in everything. God is not a man on a cloud. Because that is something I believed when I was young. I asked my mom where my dog went when he, was, when he died. And she said, he is in heaven. And I said, well, where is heaven? And she said, heaven is above the clouds. But that's, I, I've come to know that God is absolute love and giving everything that is good. God has to be for life or we would not be here. God is the source of our being. It created us all. God is the love that I am. We used to start, some people are here, but we used to start each, each of our, um, each of our services singing, God is the love that I am. We used to sing it until the Reverend, it was Reverend Connie at the time, until she did the opening treatment. And I used to say that to myself until I really thought that that was, you know, it really blended inside of me. God is the love that I am. So now, imagine a bright light, the brightest light that you could see. Just imagine that in your mind's eye. The brightest light that you can imagine. Then imagine a wall, and the light is shining on the wall. So on the, on the right side of the wall, the wall, it's dark. Total darkness, total brightness. Now imagine there are holes in the wall, and then there's beams of light shooting through the holes. These beams of light are you and me. They're individualized expressions of the one. So there is only one light, and we are all individualized expressions of this one light. So we are the beam of light. So we are all of God. No. Yeah. <laughs> so God is in all of us, but we are not all of God. That's the way it goes. These beams of light are you and me. There is only one light, and we are all from the source of this light. The further away we get from the wall where there's obstacles on the course, the darker life seems to be. Stay as close to the love and the source and the joy as you can. And how do we do this? We do, we do prayer, we do our spiritual work, we stay close to the source, we read books, we meditate, we take science and mind classes, we talk to a friend, we ask for treatment, we ask for prayer from those who can see it in us. We can see, because the, the people who can see it for us, they know that we are perfect, whole and complete. We, we see them is perfect. We see their light. We see the love and the joy and the peace. You are creating your life now. You cannot not create. You are always creating. It is done unto you as you believe, live, and move, and have your being in the law, and learn how to use it. It is in everything and everything you need to be free in the world you can have. Know that you are loved. You are a child of God. God wants only what is best for you. You have to step out of the way and want it for yourself. It took me a long time to get there. I just have to know, know that. Because I've been coming for 16 years, since 2003. So, and I've actually taken a hiatus, like five years. And um, I came back. I, I had forgotten in those five years. And I came back and... and it just really gels in you every single time. And I love coming to Sunday service because I love the inspiration from, from seeing souls of like mind who know this. Because because at work, you know, it's not, it's not the same. <laughs> These people are not as open and friendly and, you know, as everyone here. We are all whole. We are only limited by our beliefs in the wholeness. And I mean, I know I keep repeating this, but, I, but this is something that I want everybody to know. We, have, we all have our own individual lights 
individual likes, needs, and desires. There is a life force that is seeking life through us. There is only one God back of all. Are we close to our light source or are we closer to the dark? Let's just examine that. Our problem is with ourselves. How we have we blocked the light? Jesus said, it is not me who doeth the work. It is the Father within me. He doeth the work. So we step out of the way and let, G- let, the, the fa- let God, source, it's all one, do the work. We are trying to be our own, our light, the light on our own. There is a power greater than we are that is self-acting. There is a peace, the root of your being, at the root of your being. So go there. Go to this peace. There is an infinite love at the center of everything. And if you stop hating, this love will flow freely through you. Live as though love is the greatest reality. Bless everything, then accept and let God lead the way. There is one life, that life is God, and that life is my life now. Do you believe you are perfect, whole, and complete? Another question, the same question. Say it again with me. I am perfect, whole, and complete. I am perfect, whole, and complete. I say this to myself every single day, every single morning, until I believe it. It is time for us to let spirit do it. Remember to let go of everything in our thinking that denies life and let it clear the way. Be willing to try this each and every day. I am an expression of love and joy and peace. Every day, I allow the greater light to shine as me. It isn't enough to know there is a greater source of light. We have to be certain that we are an outlet to it. We have to be the light. That caught me. (laughs) We have to be the light. Be it. Jesus said we must forgive. If we are to be forgiven, we must love. If we are to be loved, we must make other people. If we must love, if we are to be loved, we must make other people happy if we are to be happy. It can bring freedom where there is bondage, abundance where there is lack. It can bring joy where there is misery when we believe. One more thing we need to learn, we have to let the light flow through us as it is only in this flow where we find joy in this life. It is the one who gives the most who gets the most. As freely as it is given to us, let us give it to others. By this alone should we be made whole. Put this power for good in your life. If you cannot see it for yourself, see a prayer partner today and let them see the unending good for you. I'm just going to see it, that's all I want to say. I think I want to share with you something I wrote in my self-mastery class that I took in 2018 with uh, Reverend Ann. It's uh, an essay she asked me to write about being love and expression. So I want to read that to you as well. This is my understanding of being love and expression. I know God is love. I know that I am love as I am one with God. Other people can feel the love I am and know they are safe in my presence. I show this love as I make eye contact with the other person. I use a soft, I use a soft expression on my face. My body language is one of softness and relaxation. I offer a hug. I listen to others without judgment. I embody love. I know that I am safe. I know that I am loved right here and right now. God is always with me and working through me for the highest and best for everyone involved. I know that I am an incarnation of spirit. I am love and expression when I am at work, when I'm helping others when they are sick, when I'm helping others with life-saving treatment of dialysis. (sighs) Sorry. When I'm treating my patients with kindness and dignity. (sighs) I didn't mean to share this, I'm sorry. Um, I am love and expression when I smile at the person on the street or at the person at the grocery store. I am love and expression when I look at my own wounds and I heal them. When I look at and heal my own wounds so I can be more loving and joyful and authentic. 
I can spend quality time with people I love. I can be of service in the community at the center of spiritual living. I offer my time and talents whenever they are needed. I know that I am love and expression when I let go and I let God. And so it is. Sorry. <laughs> end with um, a quote. It is done unto you as you believe. Believe it is already done and so it is.